peanuts are a great food. Unfortunately, they're a little high in fat, so you need to watch the amount of them you eat, but they're also a good source of, of an incomplete protein, so that if you combine them with some other food that's got some protein in it, you've got a really good protein meal. The peanuts that we have from the garden start out like this when they come to me uh, after Steve and Alan work on them for a while and dry them. Then we went ahead, my husband and I, went ahead and shelled those and got to this stage. Now at this point uh, you have a couple of options. Many people like to blanch them so they can get rid of some of these red skins uh, because those get uh, combined in the food and they come off in people's teeth and whatnot. Now what I'm going to do is toast them in a microwave. You have a couple of options uh, in order to get these skins off and one is to simply toast them in the microwave. Put about a cup of them in some kind of a pie plate Put them in the microwave for somewhere for four to six minutes. Take them out and check them and see if they're done enough to your liking. You can add a little vegetable oil and cook them for another minute or two if you like to and a little salt on them. Or you can leave them plain. Now at that point, after they've been toasted or roasted in an oven or deep fat fried, whatever you want to do, uh, the next stage you, a lot of people want to go to is get those skins off. That's just the first step of doing that. Then you come back and one at a time, uh, you roll these in your fingers and you pull the skins off and then you have the peanut that's ready to cook. Now the skins do add fiber, they do add some color, so you don't have to take them off. It depends on what you're going to do with them. If you're going to make one of the children's favorites, which is gorp, which is good old raisins and peanuts, uh, then this may be the stage that may need, be all that you need to do. They can also be used that way in peanut brittle and a lot of the other candies, but they don't look quite as pretty. So if you're giving them as gifts, you may want to go ahead and skin them. What we're going to do, instead of making peanut brittle, which most everybody has a recipe for, we're going to do something a little bit different. Peanuts can come into most any part of the meal. We're going to put them into a casserole. This particular one uses a half a can of mushroom soup or white sauce, depending on how much effort you want to go to for that, and then a half a cup of uh, fat-free or low-fat mayonnaise or salad dressing. And stir those together fairly well. Add to that a half a cup of chopped roasted peanuts. And I did leave the shells on these so that they will come off. And this may be something that you'd rather do it this way for family and skin them for company, but it works fine and does increase fiber content. Then to that, we're going to add one whole egg. And if you want to lower cholesterol content, you can uh, use two egg whites rather than one whole egg. Mix those together real well. Add about uh, half a cup of chopped onion. And then to that, we're going to add some broccoli. Now, this is about two cups of broccoli. The recipe originally called for less than that. But because we're interested in increasing the vegetable content of the diet and trying to bump up to five a day, uh, we increased that a little bit uh, above what it originally called for. If you're using frozen broccoli, uh, about a 10-ounce box, or uh, use a bag and use about two cups. Pre-cook that a little bit and drain it. Then put it into a greased casserole dish. On top of that, we're going to spread out a little bit of cheese. This is a half a cup of sharp cheddar. Now, with sharp cheddar, you can decrease the amount of cheese in an original recipe. It originally called for uh, more cheese than that, but we switched to sharp cheddar so you get a stronger flavor, but you can use less cheese, and as a result, you get less fat in your diet. Now, also in this, we're going to add some dry breadcrumbs. We have about two tablespoons of melted margarine. Now, again, we decreased the amount here. The original recipe called for a fourth of a cup but that's more than you probably will need. In fact, this is probably more dried breadcrumbs than you'll need in order to, to get this to work out really well, too. This is then going to be sprinkled over the top, and we'll go in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes until everything is warmed through. And you have a casserole dish that, because you have the peanuts there, if you serve this with a whole grain bread, uh, this dish would actually provide you a whole protein product. In fact, I've used a whole grain breadcrumb on this so that uh, we do, in fact, have a complete protein item here, that plus the milk in the dried or in the canned soup. For Oklahoma Gardening, this is Barbara Brown.